this is Chihan Maas. Today in this uh, video tutorial I am going to create a RSS feeds in ASP.NET. So let's see that what the RSS feeds are. RSS feeds are really a simple syndication. Is a way by which you can show your updates or you can say that uh, you, have, uh, you have done some changes in your website and you want that every user, user should aware with it. So to do this task we can we have an opportunity of RSS feeds. RSS feeds have some versions like uh, 1.0, 2.0 and in this tutorial I'm gonna I'm gonna taking the 2.0 right. So by using the RSS feeds as I told you that you can show your website updates on, on a place. Let's see an example that I have uh, visited a website that is the Times of India. This is a news website. In this website, you can view the RSS feeds. It have a page RSS.CMS, Times of India, and RSS.CMS. And if you go on our business, if you click on this business, then you will get the updates of, of Times of India related to business, right? So it have some data like uh, a link and uh, some description and email options and bookmark options, uh, blah blah blah. So let's see that how I can create the uh, RSS feeds and how to consume these RSS feeds in our ASP.NET website. Uh, this video is created by topdevelopers.co.in and schoolautomation.co.net. So let's see that how I can create the RSS. So to implement RSS feeds, you have to pass some packages or you know that uh, we call them namespaces in in .NET. So I have to pass three namespaces. First is the using system.data.sql client. This namespace provides some interfaces to implement database, database connectivity. .xm provides some string builders, strings uh, methods. Uh, that's why we, I have to use the system.txt. Another thing is that system.xml. I'm using XML here it's a very big reason that is that if you created your RSS feeds in .NET and you want to share these RSS feeds in Java Wizard application that's why your RSS feed should be in XML format because XML format is completely platform independent and uh, language independent so that's why I'm using here using system.xml to create a database connectivity I have make a connection string I taken an object or you can say that I have taken taken a, a variable that is a connection string I'm writing the connection string over here like server equal to SQL Express this is my local server database equal to employee this is my database name and integrated security equal to SSPI it means that I'm I'm gonna log in in SQL Server by the Windows authentication. I'm using here data table to use a data table. You have to create data table dt equal to new data table. And uh, you can make some connection like SQL connection con, SQL connection, connection string. So this SQL connection will use the this connection string which I, which I have already created in my variable. Right. So I'm using the connection by using the using con then by using the SQL data adapter, I'm fire, I will fire the command SQL command in my database and get the result from the database. I have created a table that is the TBL under RSS. In this table, I have created some fields like ID, this is my auto increment field, title, description, and URL. So, this SQL query will get the data from the table ad.pil dt. It means that whatever result it uh, taken from the database, it will fill in data table. After getting the table, after getting the data from in data table, I will pass that data in the XML. To implement this, I have I have performed some XML operations like. Uh, these are some operations that response are clear that whatever response you have taken from uh, last request uh, you want that that response should be clear that's why I have used a clear method 
and you have to pass the contain type that what kind of content you want to generate in this example I'm I'm cr I'm gonna create a XML content that's why I have used text oblique XML to, uh, to write XML content you have to use the XML text writer this is a class in this class I'm taking a object text writer response dot out, out stream it has some fixed arguments to implement and encoding UTF-8 this is the character set now create a star document you want to create a star document and RSS feeds are based on XML only these are some fixed tags like RSS version 2.0 channel title these are the fixed attributes of your RSS feeds so you have to implement them as we know that the structure of XML is that that you have a root node and every root node have some child nodes so this is a root node write the start element and write attribute string it means that it will be create like a like our uh, XML angular bracket RSS a version equals to 2.0 right so uh, create some another uh, child nodes like text writer dot write start element channel Right, right element the string title this is my title it can be whatever title you want you can put over here after that the right element the string link you can create the link and you can pass your actual domain whatever domain you have created element the string you can pass some articles and anyway anything you if you, whatever you want that copyright you can write the copyright your all company copyrights right so I'm getting data in data table and I want to read data table uh, rows one by one by which I can create the XML to implement this I have used for each loop and for each loop I am using the data row object that is the O feed item this is the data row object this object will read uh, row rows from the table in DT dot rows it will read in the rows and this uh, object will read the that rows right okay so text writer dot write start element item title description link and these are some fields whatever I have created in my database table like title description and URL right and element it have some you know that uh, some already classes like flush you want that whatever XML you have generated it should be flush should uh, consume any kind of memory on the server that's why you I have used these fixed parameters right so let's see the complete output of the source code okay so we have complete output over here as I told you that I have developed some um, uh, fields in my table and I have Pass some parameters like this is the title and you are getting this title over here C sharp development if you click on this then you will re redirect the respective uh, URL right so I have uh, used the uh, top developers dot co dot in so if you click on C sharp development you will redirect to your top developers dot co dot in right so this is not my task uh, if you click on the Java development then you will uh, redirect to another website it this URL can be your indirect to your your website URLs so whatever uh, data or updates you have made in your table then pass that data in this table and pass the link of your internal links it can be your internal links right so in this video you have seen that how I can create the you know that uh, RSS feeds any user can subscribe your RSS feeds so if you have changes in your RSS feeds uh, an email will be redirected to the user I am copying this URL from there because I want to consume this URL over this place okay so implement the RSS feeds or you know that to, to consume the RSS feeds you have to make a XML data source this source is available in your toolbox the source is used to uh, implement to uh, if you have some data in the XML format and you want to read the XML data so we have uh, you know XML data source this one this is the XML data source in this data source you have to pass your uh, data file 
and you have to pass your URL over here. This is the RSS feed URL, right? XPath RSS channel item, XML data source, data list. This is your data list. You want to read the data from the XML data source. You have passed that data source ID is XML data source one, back color equal to white, whatever uh, colors or formatting you want. You can implement this. Item template is you know that item template is used to show your your data, and I'm getting th that data by using the XPath. These are some delimiter signs, and uh, you are retrieving the field name. That's why I have put the title, URL, ID, and description. If you implement this, then you will complete output. You will have how to consume the RSS feeds. Okay, so on your website, you have complete RSS feeds data. In this video, <coughs> whatever code I have used, you can download it from the topdevelopers.co.in or schoolautomation.net. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe us because we we are going to create some another uh, videos based on Android. Uh,